Who dies? Who is going to die? I'm picking Jenny LeClue because that is the most dramatic option. Fate has spoken, but is she certain? Once the choice is made, there's no turning back. There is? No, no, I, I mean, I, ah, uh, okay. Let's see, let's go. Wait, Jenny wasn't an option, was she? Oh, Rufus. Yes. I think I need to lie down. Yes, she was an option. Yes. Okay, let's see what happens to the story if Jenny dies. And maybe go back and play the uh, other endings. <clears throat> As I was saying. Whoa. What was that? No more interruptions. Seriously, I want an explanation. No more, more interruptions. Frequent. Please. I'm in the middle of my astonishing denouement! Everyone in town thinks CJ is crazy. A madman spouting wild theories about aliens and hidden forces at work in Arthurton. But all the strange phenomena he's seen are real. And the culprits are men, not monsters. Okay. What, what do I know about Arthurton's secret history? Um... You. That was a message in a grave? Okay, the spears. Spears seem important. The spheres, the secret secret lab messages. Yeah, I think those 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 are important. Let's go with that. Arthurton is built on top of some kind of energy source. Something special. I uncovered the secret laboratories of Professor Zazer. He ran experiments to study the unique properties of Arthurton's resource. And his research was funded by a shady organization called the Council of Three. One of the experiments went tragically wrong and caused the collapse of the quartz mines. They covered it up and blamed the miners. And yet the experiments didn't stop. Instead, they built an even bigger facility. Years after the accident in the mines, an even greater tragedy struck Arthurton. Only this time, the townspeople didn't know. I don't fully understand it, but something happened to the whole town. What? It exploded? And wherever we were, we aren't there anymore. The rest of the world think we disappeared. At first, I thought I was solving two separate mysteries. But then it hit me like a ton of used books. The two were inextricably linked. And that's how I know your motive for staging the Dean's death. I don't follow. La 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 la. So they faked the Dean's death so he could be sent to this other world where everyone's still alive? Okay, so the motive is... I'm just gonna do something that's obviously wrong. Uh, key card and spoon. Key card and spoon. wasn't working for the university. He was working on Zazer's machines. All under the watchful eye of the Council of Three. The Dean is part of the Council of Three, or at least he works for them. His ring hides a key to access secret stations around town. After Dad's death and the subsequent cover-up, Mr. Strasbury struggled with the burden of truth. He had devoted his life to educating the townspeople. He regretted lying to them. And so he planned to reveal the truth during his retirement speech. Ah. The mom convinced him to take a different path. Together, you concocted a plan to bring down the organization from the inside. Oh, what a brilliant mind you have, Jenny LeClue. Julie, I believe you underestimated this girl. You could have gotten yourself killed. But I didn't. But what if you had? I'm not a kid anymore. I have to make my own choices. A flower cannot blossom without light. Jenny had risked everything to save her mom. I... I'm sorry, Jenny. Aww. 
I still have so many more questions. Who is the man in black? What's up with that? It's okay, Mom. You were running out of time to save Mr. Strasbury. I was trying to protect you. I know. Aww. I should have trusted you. But you were wrong. I just apologized. No, not about that. <laughs> Everyone presumed Dad died in the lab explosion. So did I, until today. But then, I started finding secret messages all over town. They led me to a secret room under the graveyard. And there, on a small television, I saw him. Henry? Dad is alive! But he's trapped on the other side, and he's been trying to contact us this whole time. He made it back? Then the experiment worked! Exactly! But if he made it back, that means... Made it back to where? Where? Ah! We can all get back! To where? We need to get to the machine. Right away. No. First, we need to find Professor Zazer. So what machine do you need to get to? One of the spheres? Okay, deep below. Deep, deep below the surface of the Earth. Far underneath Arthurton. A larger machine? Whoa. What is this? Emergency release one, two, or three. Select wisely. Well, I have no contacts. What does this even mean? No, seriously, I have no idea what this means. Which one is which? What what do they refer to? What emergency release? I'm gonna go with blue. Yeah, let's go with blue, I suppose. I have no idea what it does. I have no idea what the other ones do. So, uh, it's just guess randomly, I suppose. Yeah. What is this? Are those dolphins? So deep under the lake we have this machine? Oh no. It's about to explode. Okay, so Jenny disappeared, and it, uh, it looks like we had those green, blue, and red things, sort of like in that message from Dad. What? 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 I excuse me? To be continued, that's the end of the game? I, wait, what? What is, the no? No, no, that, that can't be the end of the game. You, what just happened? Okay, um, um, okay. Okay, so that's, 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 that's where the game ends. Uh, you decide who dies, and then you decide which of three levers to pull, and then that's it? Wow. Okay. That feels like that's not supposed to be the end of the game. That feels like it's not the end, you know? It, it said to be continued. So is there going to be a second game continuing the story? I... What was... I don't even... Okay, let's just talk about the game in general then. I'm sort of taken aback by that ending, which is not an ending at all. Oh my gosh. Uh, now, I, I think, well, if I had picked other options during those final conversations, maybe I would have gotten other, other, 
other things would have been said to me? I don't know. Cause, cause it, it looks like it. It looks like maybe you got the same conversation, no matter which conversation options you picked. Are uh, you know? I'm not entirely sure about that, but still, that's kind of weird that you make such a big decision. Who dies? And then, oh, sorry, there's no gameplay left. It's just cutscenes. And then pick pick a lever. Oh wow. Wow, that really is just not a good ending to the mystery. <laughs> um, wow. Wow. Yeah. No, that's that's the cliffhanger ending to the mystery. Okay, so the the solution is that Dean Sirosberry isn't really dead. Okay, that works. That's that's a, actually works, but it doesn't work if we don't have the reason why. And when you when you put out an ending like that, it makes me think you don't have a reason why. You couldn't figure out why his death was faked, and so we just ended the story before the explanation got told. That, oh, that, that makes me furious. Okay, um, this game was fine? I, like, oh man, that ending's gonna ruin the game for me, oh jeez. Oh jeez, um, it was okay, I really liked the start of the game. Um, but then once you left the Glatz house, it, it was like I moved into a completely different video game, if that makes sense. It looks, it, it was lo almost like I was playing a totally different game, uh, because it became a, a, a platforming challenge. That's basically it. It, it. You know, the game became a platforming challenge. Yeah, so I imagine if you pick who dies, that just determines which character disappears at the very end. Yeah, so it looks like the game, yeah. <clears throat> Wow, so we'll try this again. We'll see if picking different options leads to a different conversation. <clears throat> As I was saying... And unfortunately, there's no way to skip through the dialogue. That's, that's kind of a shame. Uh, yeah... What was that? Like if I could hit the control button no and skip through dialogue I've already seen, that would be great. The tremors were getting But yeah, no, 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 no. So, so uh, about a third of the way through the game, Please. we left the Glad's I'm house. The of my and then, uh... The game just became a platforming game, and, and, and we had this really long challenge of going through the woods, and and, and, um, and then that was followed by the really long challenge of going through the graveyard. Um, yeah, and even getting to her house. So there was an awful lot of climbing up and down. Uh, there was an awful lot of trying to to make little jumps. Okay, so let's pick a totally different option. We have this guy. Totally different option. Uh, this guy and this thing. So let's see, does that change the conversation at all? Does it make a difference? Arthurton is built on top of some kind of energy source. Something special. Nope, same conversation. My suspicions were first raised when I heard a strange radio broadcast with a link. Eh, slightly different. Later, I heard the same message in a room hidden beneath the forgotten forest. I uncovered the secret laboratories of Professor Zazer. He ran experiments to study the unique properties of Arthurton's resource. Mm -hmm. And his research was funded by a shady organization called the Council of Three. One of those machines is causing the power outages around town. It's really? the reason we have a curfew, despite what Arthurton Power and Light would have us believe. A giant machine, hidden somewhere in Arthurton. I don't fully understand it, but something happened to the whole town. And wherever we were, we aren't there anymore. Yeah, so basically the exact same conversation, no matter which option you pick. Okay, that's good. Well, then that's the end of Jenny LeClue Detective... I was hoping we could get that Detective -o thing explained. What does Detective -o mean? I... I don't know, is it French? Is this some sort of French joke that I don't understand or what? Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm just not sure how to process that ending. Cause I, I, you know, I originally, I really liked the game. It was great. I, I did like uh, the puzzles. I like the uh, investigation puzzles and the interrogation puzzles even though I was sort of terrible at the puzzles where they have a close-up zoom of somebody and you have to select like five or six things uh, on their head, which are clues. I like those, even though I was terrible at them. I really like the puzzles where you had a bunch of, um, you know, the make deductions puzzle where you have to pick 
two or three of the things which work together to prove your deduction. Although here at the end of the game, y you saw, it doesn't really matter which of the five things or four things you pick, you'll get the same basic conversation either way. Yeah, so I, I, I really like that, but the, 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 the platforming challenges just went on for too long. So that, that took up easily four hours of the game was just going through the mines right and, and uh going through the trees it was a lot of platforming i, I you know it, it made me very surprised at how much platforming there was for uh what otherwise was just a mystery game i did like seeing um jenny deal with her cousin Susie. however jenny was mostly alone during those platforming sections you know occasionally she got a call from Susie, and occasionally she came across one of those spheres and investigated but other than that it was mostly jenny by herself uh we didn't come back to like the characters we saw at the start of the game like um you know the college kids we didn't really come back to them um Susie's two friends didn't really come back to them. I thought they would be part of it. Um, CJ, I'm not sure how CJ fits into things. Maybe it makes sense in the sequel. Is there a sequel? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the fact that this was a Kickstarter game just kind of makes it uh, slightly more disappointing that they weren't able to finish the entire game. Oh, yeah, because they had a big Kickstarter, so that's that's like a, a website where you do fundraisers. Uh, several video games have done fundraisers uh, for that, so they could get the money to develop a game. Oh, no, so it, maybe it's a case where, it, you know, they, they raised money, and they thought they would be able to make this long, expansive game, but they only could make half of it, and, and so they just cut the game in half. Oh, oh that's just kind of painful, though. Oh, man, that ending. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say. It's still, like, 11 hours of gameplay, so it's not like it's a short game. But all, all my mind is remembering are long platforming challenges, particularly in the mines in the forest. Whereas I, I preferred all the other stuff, the, the mystery solving, the puzzles. I really... Uh, uh, Enjoyed the interplay between Arthur and Jenny. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cute. Oh, man. I, I, you know, I, oh. It's a mystery. Mysteries. I like mysteries when the ending sort of explains everything that happened. Whereas this one just left a lot. Just left a lot unexplained. Uh, who is the mysterious man in black who was chasing after Jenny? He wasn't trying to kill Mom, was he? Well, what was his goal if he wasn't trying to kill Mom? Oh, it, wh why did Mom... Wh why did Mom take the blame for Dean Strausberry's death if, if the plan was to bring him back to life? I, I still don't know why they killed him. Why did they fake his death? The game is indicating, oh, they killed him. So he could cross over to this mysterious other world where dad is still alive. But, but, uh, based on what Dean Strasberry was saying there, that's not what happened. He didn't know if he, he crossed over to the world where dad was still alive. Why would mom keep this a secret from Jenny? Um, who is the council of three? They have all these really big mysteries. What happens? Does Jenny actually die or not? That's another big question. Does she die or does she just wake up in this alternate world? So, lots of questions left unanswered here at the end of the game. Um, oh gosh, I don't know. So, is, is there going to be a sequel or, or, or are they just going to maybe release some bonus content? Like an extra chapter? Towards the end, Arthur said, Who? Oh, this is the final chapter. So, that, that makes me think, think, they're, they're close to the end. I, oh, okay. Okay, I think that's... That's enough, Jenny Leclue, Detective. Um, pretty cool game. Uh, if they wrote a book based on the game, I'd totally read the book. Presumably, the book would have an ending, though. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, you know, this game might even work as a visual novel if you just cut out all the platforming segments. The, the uh, adventure game segments 
like walking around the, the the backgrounds and finding items we're all pretty easy it's just your character walks right or left that's all she can do and if she's standing in front of something you can interact with a little pop-up shows up so uh really the inventory puzzles and stuff um uh, weren't that hard to program uh from a programming standpoint it could have been done as a visual novel as well the visuals were quite good i, I did like the visuals for this game that's that's definitely good okay okay well that's it thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed my video walkthrough bye